Hey guys, I earlier received uh, a package from um, a company called Particle, formerly known as Spark, and what it looks like is this. It's called the Internet Button. And I accidentally just pressed button one, and the idea is that I can press a button and I get an alert on my phone. Isn't that cool? So, um, it's actually very simple and the, and the case is a bit fiddly. It's basically got the photon there, we all know and love, and a shield on the back of it, I'd say, where the four buttons are. And the idea is that you have it flat on, then you sort of like press down and then you trigger the thing, the, the buttons behind it. I'm actually totally new to photon. <clears throat> And, well, there's a lot of things that sort of uh, I had to work through. Like, um, well, the first off, I was a little bit, like, unimpressed, I should say, that everything has to go through their servers, the Spark IO servers. And and you can run your own Spark server, but um, the last sort of commit log said, says that it didn't really work with this photon. So I didn't like the idea of having a device that, would not work if my internet went down. Um, the whole idea is that this would be some, some sort of like internal panic button, but if the Spark IO API is down, then I'm kind of screwed. And here in Malaysia, the internet can be down, you know, we're in the sticks here. Um, another thing I found a little bit difficult to fathom is that trying to get a notification on your mobile um, it's really difficult because, you know, WhatsApp doesn't have an API, iMessage doesn't have an API, you're left having to install an app like IFTTT, and the best sort of notification you can do is just like a little thing up there, it's not like, it, it's, it won't get you out of bed basically, and one of the ideas with this button was that I pressed the button, and I got the baby back there, and sometimes the baby is a handful, and we want to get the helper and to, to do a, a diaper change. So basically I wanted, and sometimes it happens in the middle of the night, dare I say, and the helper's downstairs, but I don't want to go on and shout down to her, please come up, I just want to press this button and have it to come up. But of course, getting notifications working on her Android phone requires an IFTTT install and, a, and you know, registering the login and then registering with my device, it's really painful. So I'm not really impressed with this notification stuff and especially since it's not really gonna like, mm, 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 mm. it's not like a panic button thing and there's more to it. Like for example, I kind of want her, like when I press a button, I, I, I don't want it to go out until it, she, she, my helper acknowledges it. So once she's acknowledged it, light goes out. You know, the, you know these sorts of um, these sorts of use cases are actually really quite hard to implement. I think, um, not not to say that the internet button is at fault. I think it's more it's more these mobiles are actually quite difficult to work with. Anyway, if you know better, please let me know. Thanks for watching.